Our final category this evening is social sciences. And this year's winner is a creative economist who has done path-breaking work in behavioral economics. He's presently the university professor at the Booth School of Business in the University of Chicago. He did his BA in computer science, mathematics, and economics from Cornell. And he was awarded his PhD in economics from Harvard. In 2002, he was awarded a MacArthur Fellowship, which is also known as the Genius Award. To announce the award for social sciences, it is my pleasure to introduce Professor Abhijit Banerjee, who has very graciously stepped in for the jury chair, Professor Kaushik Basu, who was unfortunately unable to join us in Bangalore today. Professor Banerjee is the Ford Foundation in International Professor of Economics at the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. He received the Infosys Prize in 2009 in Social Sciences and Economics. He was named one of Foreign Policy Magazine's top 100 global thinkers. He served on the UN Secretary General's high-level panel of eminent persons. Ladies and gentlemen, Professor Abhijit Banerjee. When Kaushik uh, asked me to step in for him because he couldn't be here, uh, I couldn't have been more delighted. Uh, uh, the honoree is, uh, is someone I've been friends, co-authors, colleagues, and co-conspirators with for 20 years since he joined MIT as an assistant professor. Uh, he, be he was legendary from day one. Uh, he, the, for his brilliance, but also because he was willing to take on all the students in basketball. There were also rumors that he, if you really want to talk to him, you have to get up at 6 a.m. and go to the gym with him. Um, but back to the brilliance. Uh, I think what Sendel brings to economics is an, an, an almost unique ability to ask important questions and not just take half answers for them. He started his research by kind of documenting this running battle between shareholders, other shareholders, and uh, the CEOs in India and in the US and showing that that has major consequences. He went on to show that, uh, I think, very uh, important and influential evidence on the presence of racism and casteism in, in recruitment of employees. He, he, has, he sh did some of the most uh, important work showing how corruption operates on the ground in India. Uh, I should ask him about it. It's really interesting. It's, he has recently decided that economics isn't interesting enough and is now um, trying to bring uh, the tools from AI into the social sciences. The, the jury, this is all important work. The jury recognized most uh, centrally his work on, that's in his book with Elda Shafir on scarcity, which is the idea that being poor robs us of the mental space to take good decisions. And that then reinforces poverty. This very important idea is now, I think, it has, it has wings and will become one of the transformative ideas in the field of development economics and in the study of poverty more generally. I'm going to read out the citation. Um, Sandal is being awarded for his path-breaking work in behavioral economics. His research has had substantial impact on diverse fields such as development, public finance, corporate finance, and policy design. A significant part of this work is relevant to India. He's currently working on big data and machine learning issues and applications in economics. Congratulations, Sandil. Let's watch now Professor Mulainathan talking about his enduring conversation with nature. I think in 10 years, I don't know where I'll be. And I think that is the best part of research. In fact, I think that what makes research so interesting is we're ultimately sitting down and having a conversation with nature and nature always surprises us. My current work involves applying machine learning to a variety of problems. I think this is gonna be a big change in the next 50 years. This is just such a different way to use data to analyze the world and interact with the world around us. 
I'd say it all began for me when I was younger and really enjoyed learning things. It's a visceral pleasure that's almost as good as eating a chocolate chip cookie or something delicious. And I think doing research is the best way to constantly be learning something new. Please join me in welcoming on stage Professor Sendil Mulainathan. May I request Mr. Mohandas Pai and Professor Banerjee to join us. And may I request Professor Bhargava to present the Infosys Prize in Social Sciences to Professor Sendil Mulainathan. Let's give him a big hand. Thank you, Professor Bhargava. Thank you, Professor Banerjee and Mr. Pai. Professor Sendil, a few words from you. Uh, this is a terrific honor. Uh, I obviously have a lot of people to thank and only about 20 minutes. So let me, um, I think I read that right. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll focus my thanks on, on, on one group of people. To do this, I'm gonna tell a story. When I landed here and I was at immigration, the guy next to me was having a very interesting conversation. The immigration, the person, the immigration had asked him, what do you do for a living? And he said, uh, life coach. Now you can imagine, to the immigration officer, this made no sense. So I got to listen for about two minutes, this fellow trying to explain what a life coach is. And as I was sort of enjoying it a little bit, it struck me, hmm, I shouldn't enjoy this too much. I kind of have this problem. When people ask you what you do, you can kind of say professor, but that's not quite right. You can say researcher, but they're not quite sure what on earth you do for a living. Now, as I was thinking about this, I was thinking, it's kind of hard for me, but imagine how hard it must be for my parents. <laughs> now, I don't know what they tell their friends. I suspect it has something to do with claiming I'm a doctor, since that's what a PhD is, but kind of leaving out the fact that it's not that kind of doctor. But I can tell you what my parents told me. When I was very young, I actually lived in this city. Uh, I was about three or four. My dad was an aerospace engineer, and he would take us out on his motorcycle to the edge of the airport, because even though he was involved in the building of planes, he hadn't been on one. So we would sit at the edge of the airport watching these massive things of beauty fly over us. And that's what my parents told me. They told me to dream. And I think that's at the essence of being a researcher. It's to dream. And I know the goal of the Infosys Prize is to encourage people, young kids in India, to go, to research, to go do research. I can't imagine a more noble goal. But if that's what they wanted, I don't think they should have given me the award. I think they should have given it to my parents. <laughs> because I think more parents like mine would result in a lot more amazing researchers. Thank you. <laughs> 